All right, so let's look at example 8 and 9. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Okay, so this is now an application of Hooke's Law. A book of inertia 1.2 kilograms. Okay, there's the book, 1.2 kilograms. On top of the spring in figure, in the figure. Okay, it's placed on top of the spring. What is the displacement of the top end of the spring from the relaxed position when the, when the book is at rest on top of the spring? Okay? So what is the displacement? So what is the x minus x zero? Okay, that's what we're looking for. What is the x minus x zero? Okay, so the first thing that we want to do here is we need to draw our free body diagram. But in order to determine the displacement of the spring, remember what is, what is Hooke's law for the spring? F of the spring is minus k x minus x zero. Okay? So it looks like we need to we need to find k um, we're looking for this. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for x minus x zero. We're looking for this displacement. So we, it looks like we're going to have to find what is the spring force at this, at this um, position and what is the spring constant, the spring stiffness. So how are we going to find the, this restoring spring force? Well, the one way is Let's draw a free body diagram of the book. Okay? Now, why of the book? Because remember, the force that the book applies to the spring is the equal and opposite force that the spring applies to the book. Okay? So, there's the free body diagram. It's not accelerating. So, this is, we're going to draw one of the book, okay? Uh, so, we've got gravity, uh, gravitational force down. We've got the spring force up, FSB, spring on book. And here we've got earth on book. Okay? And if we calculate that, we calculate... So, some of the forces... Some of the forces is mass times acceleration. Okay? Acceleration is zero. So, this equals zero. So, we've got force of spring on book upwards minus force of earth on book equal to zero. That's what we're doing over here. Okay? We're just rearranging that. You plug in, you get that the force of the um, the force of the spring on the book is equal to 12 Newton. Okay? All right. So now, now we've got now we've got this restoring force. We've got this restoring force of 12 Newton. Um, so now we've got this force there, but now we still need to calculate k. We still need to calculate k and the way that it's done is by calculating the inverse of the slope. So all you do is you take delta F, change in force, divided by change in displacement. Change in force divided by change in displacement gives us the inverse of the slope. Okay? Um, and so you can choose any, any points there. Now the F and the X minus X zero, and there's your line. So you can choose any point there, get that delta F, and then find its corresponding height, delta X minus X zero, and then you can calculate your spring stiffness K. So now we've got K, and now we can calculate X minus X zero. We, pl we rearrange and we solve minus 2.4, looks like millimeters there. And is it correct? It's negative? Yes. So we can 
So it means that it's going down. Okay?